the audio on that one. Welcome to the Weekly Dig. It is Sunday night. It is time for the Weekly Dig. <clears throat> for those new to the stream, this is where we talk about anime old and new. My name is Brent. These are my fabulous co-hosts, John. Say hi, John. Me. Konnichiwa. Me now. And Steve. Hello. And let's start tonight by talking about the anime series Claymore. Um, and that was uh, that was our, our task. We watched episodes one through five. Um, I did not get all the way through episode five. We'll get to that in a little bit. Let me explain all that in a little bit. Um, so Claymore is a um, is it early two thousands? Um, two thousand seven, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two thousand seven. Uh, fantasy anime series. I think it's safe to say. Uh, yep. Twenty four episodes. I think twenty five, something like that. Um, and um, yes, grimdark. I think would be probably the operating word to begin with. And uh, yeah, it's uh, a, uh, focusing on a sort of a monster girl and her uh, her companion in a very dark world of monsters, and she's fighting those monsters. Um, I guess we'll start off as usual. I had not seen Claymore before. I'd heard plenty of things about Claymore. Lots of folks who really like Claymore, uh, but I don't actually check it out yet. Um, and uh, John, I believe you're in a similar situation. Yeah, I had it on on my my anime list to watch, mm-hmm. and I I if we hadn't discussed it, I it must have come up somewhere at a con. Yeah. That I put it on my to watch list. So, mm-hmm. but I have no idea why. Like. Yeah. I have no active memory of being like, oh, that's a must see. That's like, I'm totally, that's the next thing. Yeah. It's like, nope, until we mentioned it and we talked about seeing it, it's like, that's right. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Steve, how are you? Uh, well, it's been years since I've seen the whole thing. I picked it up at Otokons, like one of those things that was in the, the one of the video rooms. Mm. Um, so it's all the first four episodes, you know, because that's how they do it. Mm. And then, um, and then, <laughs> So I was able to cobble watching the series together through the library and independent, um, like, downloaded videos on YouTube. Okay, um, wow. So, you know, it was a combination there of um, <clears throat> my library here. The main branch has a really nice, actually pretty good anime selection for the most part. Cool. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I got, I got, it's been years since I've seen it. Uh, so when we watched it, I watched it on Fine Animation. I was just like, oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember the Claymore girl at at uh, Otagon. Six, all six foot five of her. Wow. <laughs> now, did you did you know of Claymore before you saw her, or did you see her and then like? Asked? I saw her. No, I mm. saw her after I saw the claim. I, I saw Claymore. Okay. Yeah. And then I saw her and I knew who she was. Okay. But I did. I, I hadn't seen her before, prior to that. Okay. So it wasn't this walk up to her and be like, my gosh, you're tall. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> you're freakishly large. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, you smooth talker, you. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm going to kind of ch- cut to the chase on this one, I think. because <laughs> No, that's fine. There's, there's a lot of... Here, here's the thing. I watched Claymore <clears> and I was like, okay, I'm... I don't dislike this. I do, I'm, I'm not falling in love with it. I'm not, like, blown away by any given piece of it, but that's fine. And this is clearly, like, not aimed directly at me, and it's fine. Um, and full disclosure, halfway to episode five, a thing happened that was kind of a trigger for me, and I was like, no, I'm done. I'm out. Um, here's the thing, and there are people out there who I'm sure like Claymore, and I, I don't want to rain on their parade. When I say, I watched Claymore and I couldn't identify a thing in Claymore that I could understand why people would, would like like the show for that thing, right? Again, I'm not saying any of it was bad, but I and I'm really I'm curious from you, Steve. Like, um, and again, this may be one of those things where it just didn't click with me, but I, I'd be curious to find out like what is that thing people are latching onto for this show because. Every individual piece of it, like, like I said, the animation is fine. It, it's not mind blowing, but it's certainly effective. Um, the combat is eh, okay. There's a lot of kind of 
characters attacking each other and then standing around talking and then attacking <laughs> each other again. Uh, typical anime stuff. Um, the characters are pretty one-dimensional. But again, like, nothing, like, horrible. So, like, Steve, like, when you watch Claymore, like, what, 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 what connected for you? So the when I watched Claymore, the, the thing that drew me in to um, to watch it was the music. It was the music. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. um, so um, the music fit very well, I thought, with what was going on in the anime. Okay. And I think they they used it. They used music well to tell this to help mm. tell the story. Okay. So the music, I, I, you know, I periodically forget that I like that. Mm. and <clears throat> so like like for example the the thought came back to my head <clears throat> excuse me that i should probably find the soundtrack for this mm. because i i do enjoy it um <clears throat> as it's far very, as this no, I was gonna say, it's a very odd kind of dissonant soundtrack <clears throat> yeah um and it's and it's um very tonal mm. um so what and then once you get into it the story is not unlike a lot of the stories that I've read, um, you know, um, through college fantasy, fantasy fiction, yep. that kind of a thing. Um, and so it, it reminded me of various stories that I enjoyed, honestly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and Grimdark is definitely a word for this. <laughs> um, no, no argument there. Um, but I can see why people don't like it. Mm, okay. you know what i mean i like yeah. like i you know when, when when you said to me earlier you know i sorry mm -hmm. nah, and you gave the reason i'm like okay you know what that's valid actually mm -hmm. you know that's that's you know there's there's nothing wrong with that because i can get it i i, I can mm -hmm. understand why 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 there's that hesitancy to continue forward and also for some people it just that's not a thing that's going to grab them there is the story for Claire is slow. It, mm. it, it, you know, yeah. it does move, it does move slow. This, this mm -hmm. series does move. It has a, not a glacial pace, but it takes its time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, that's where, I, you know, some people are just like, no, I want the shonen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. not going to get that. Mm -hmm. And um, there's more, this isn't like lane where it's like hard conceptual ideas. Mm -hmm but there's conceptual ideas <clears throat> at play here and um there are visuals prejudice? yeah you think yeah maybe a theme a, a little bit a little bit it's just a wee bit they just brought slightly. it up once somewhere near, um near the back <laughs> and i and one of the things that i that i think that i in that drew me in to claim war was that um it was one of the few animes at that time that I was watching. I'm not saying that there weren't any, sure. but just for me personally, it was like one of the one of the few handful of animes I was coming across that was really geared not for the PG three thirteen crowd. This was something for a much older audience um, because you have you do have to have some level of um, nuance to watch this, mm. and even that nuance can make you decide not to watch it more mm -hmm. um like like in your case mm -hmm. you know with, with with what happened in, in midway through mm -hmm. episode five um which for me you know it's it's supposed to be distressing and it's mm -hmm. supposed to be awful and it really truly is and um but that's also kind of what happens in, in other stories that ever like ender's sure, game sure. But, oh, yeah, you know, like, yeah. yeah, you know, Ender's Game, that, that, that whole like, the battle school crap. Right. I mean, that's just like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. To be clear, I mean, A, yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of a, a it's a full disclosure, um, well, a child gets physically abused on camera. Yeah. Um, and for me, like, that is the thing that just is, against, again, sort of a trigger for me. But then also, for right. me, it's one of those things where, if if the series had established other things, I would I could have handled that that moment. Um, if anyone's seen um, um, Bacano, there right. is a scene partway through Bacano that is of a similar type. yes. But the yeah. way it's handled, I, I was like, okay, I'm you know I don't want to watch a whole episode of this, but mm -hmm. I get it. I'm fine. We moved on. For me, it's one of those things where because I wasn't getting anything out of the rest of the show. You know, there wasn't mm -hmm. anything pulling me along so sorry. right no and, and again and again like like i said before if somebody watches this and said dude i didn't like this yeah 
Got it. I, I get it. I yeah. get it. Totally valid. Totally and, valid. And again, I, I say that to, to, to say if somebody else sees that and is like, but I like these other things, I totally get that too. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. things working or not working for different people, I, you know, I, I get it. Well, and, and, and kind of to that point, I will say that Claymore is a anime where you're going to like it or you're not. Mm -hmm. There is no middle ground on this one uh, to, to me. And I've always felt that way. So that's, I guess that's part of the reason why I, I, I get it when people say they, they don't. Um, but yeah. Well, see, now, Steve, I am that middle ground. Oh, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> because I totally agree, Brent. What happens in episode five is just, it doesn't endear the show to me. <laughs> It but it also, you know, but, but it also doesn't like. It's not a hard switch, mm -hmm. so it's not like, nope, just done. Yeah. Um, and I think I, I, was warned about Elf and Lead, or oh, Elf yeah. Lead. Yeah, that that and that's tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, that, is a hard a hard no for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I literally had to like grit my teeth after that, and then mm -hmm. finished watching it out. Mm -hmm. So this, it's like, okay. I, I don't enjoy that. I, the show, mm -hmm. it's mildly interesting. In 2007, maybe that would have been the mindset to be like, mm -hmm. this is an amazing <clears throat> epic. It's this interesting mm -hmm. thing going on. It's like, now, it's like, I've seen so much fantasy kind of stuff and with all right. kinds of you know, similar yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. things going yeah. on that I've enjoyed so much more and I followed so much more. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, more than we've talked about, you know, the sort of grimness, it makes me think more of Berserk. Mm -hmm. And like I've watched a tiny bit of Berserk because I don't mm -hmm. typically that's I kind of not watching many dark kind of mm -hmm. things. I'm watching much yeah. more like, you know, Aronson or, you know, <laughs> my dress up darling. It's like mm -hmm. those are not nearly so catastrophically terrible. They're <laughs> hideously cute. Yes. <laughs> but not catastrophically terrible. So I'm not that middle ground. I'm curious to know, like like Brent, you and I had talked about. I'm curious to know who the organization is. I'm curious oh, to know who Claymore. Claire is yeah, yeah. with. Mm -hmm. who, 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 how many Claymores are there? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm curious to know. Am I hot damn burning to know? So I'm like, I'm thirsting mm -hmm. on this. I cannot get more. No, not particularly. You know, yeah. I, it's one of those words. I've watched five. I've got kind of a little, I got my feet wet. Yeah. And, you know, when I get the opportunity as I go along, maybe I'll watch a little bit more, mm -hmm. see how it, you know, see after episode five, does it develop in any kind of thing that I'm that really suddenly hooks me in or mm -hmm. meh? So I, right. I'm right square on that middle mm -hmm. ground. I'm not in love. I'm not in hate. I'm just, it's just a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Something from 2007 that's a nice <laughs> kind of a retro kickback. And it's like, okay. And you know, I wonder if thinking back to 2007, w one of the, the elements of Claymore is that it's not, I'm going to say sort of obviously Japanese, right? Right. You can see right. this appealing to the American audience. You know, a, imagine you're know, a 15-year-old coming across Claymore, hearing about this anime thing. This would be very approachable to somebody who's not familiar with throbbing forehead veins and all the various yeah. anime accoutrements. Right. So I can see there, there being some appeal in, in that audience as well, as this is being... I mean, obviously, it's not Disney. <laughs> right. Um, but it's, it's not... You know, Claymore has show, a though. Disney ending, and there's <laughs> all a big one big show tune. Well, I mean, if we're if we're talking uh, Beyblade or Pokemon or any of these others, it's it doesn't have bright primary colors sure. going on. It's like you know, if you said, okay, this is Shonen, mm -hmm. and somebody said, well, I don't know what that is. And they said, well, Dragon Ball Shonen. And they said, oh, well, okay, this is distinctly different than that. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, the muted kind of colors and stuff. Yeah. It just mm -hmm. visually is different than that. Mm -hmm. It's Obviously, the the weight that it carries with it is there's a lot less frenetic energy, mm -hmm. so that yeah, you, you I could see that being the absolute like, hey, this is great. This is gonna work mm -hmm. well with an audience that's not like <clears throat> firmly set in Shonen Jump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what right. I mean? This is this right. is gonna work across a lot of different metrics that will you know mm -hmm. we can sell this broadly. Mm -hmm. And it's like okay, I can see that. I can see. Yeah. I can definitely see the accessibility of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It also feels Claymore has the advantage, and Steve, you can probably, um, you know, answer this. Um, well, let me just ask: <laughs> How is the sort of plot structure going through to the end? Like, it, does it give you a, a satisfying ending in the sense that, like, it, it feels complete? You get an ending. 
Okay, all right. <laughs> um, you get, to you, ship me that. Not liking it, Steve. <laughs> Go on now. Um, you get you, you get an ending. Um, you get your answers. Okay. Um, the 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 feeling is that that there was going to be more. Okay. I'm not saying I'm not saying it doesn't end on a cliffhanger or anything okay. like that. Yeah. I, but it just feels like okay, we have established the mythos of mm. Claymore. And here's the world that we're going to explore. It's like, it's like Mugen Train. Okay, we have established this mm-hmm. thing, Mugen, and then we're going to, you know, and it just never <clears throat> flew off the ground. And it may, the reason may be just for what you're saying, maybe it was a flash in the pan at the, at, at the time. And, and then they just kind of realized, oh, um, we can still get mileage out of Dragon Ball and we can, <laughs> you know, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But, um, well, but, yeah. the, like you, you get you get an idea of what the organization is. You get an idea of, of what they are. You you get an idea of the awfulness of of things. Um, and it's um, the reason why I say Grimdark is a really good descriptor for this is because this is the tone all the way through. Mm, okay. This yeah. is the, you know it's not happy. It's not <laughs> right. it's it's not going to be you know the the only happy character is is her little dog's body boy um you know is making her meals that she doesn't eat yeah rocky you know rocky rocky um and you know there's things that happen there okay um which are you're gonna be like "Mm, okay um it it, just for people who who are just not kind of into that that kind of vein um so yeah i mean it does it does end it has an ending okay. where you're like, okay, cool. The things are that we need to have resolved are resolved, mm-hmm. and oh, hey, there's a possibility that we might explore this role further. Gotcha. Like, for example, talking about um, the school, the, mm. the 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 training grounds, and things like that. You know, you you get answer, John. You get answers to those questions, okay. <clears throat> but it's not so much of a visual answer a lot of the time. Mm. It's it's a descriptor from other people and with flashbacks kind of thing. Hmm. So, you know, that yeah. was kind of one of the things where it's just like, you get the feeling that you could, that like another direction it would have gone in is, hey, someone's joining up, mm-hmm. you know, a girl's joining up and we'll right. go into detail of that. I, yeah. Although, you know, I'm sure that would be your favorite thing, Brent. Um, see, <laughs> see, yeah, um, because it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's just, I mean, that's the tone of it. I mean, it's just grim. It's adult. It's grim. And, um, you know, it's a world that you do not want to get isekai into. Yeah. And to be fair, um, this manga ended in, um, 2014 at 27 volumes. Yeah. So in 26 episodes, <laughs> I can see them saying, okay, we're going to, you know, give you an ending spot so that you can say, okay, I've, I've, I've reached a, a reasonably satisfying spot. If I want to get all the backstory, all the depth, I can go back to the right. manga, but this is a, you know, sort of a reasonable stop, stopping point. Yeah. Uh, um, so that, that's, that's fair. That's actually good. Like, I, I would not want them to either, you know, kill everyone off of the ending and then say, well, then, you know, the world exploded. <laughs> this um, is all a coma fantasy. Right. Oh. <laughs> uh, snow globe. Um, exactly. Uh, um, and Cashier comes in and saves it. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll get to Cashier. Um, but uh, um, yeah, but then also it isn't like you know. And then we got to episode twenty-six, and then we just stopped. Yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. So. Um, that, but that, the fate of the world hangs in the. <laughs> Oh! And, and you just see the one placard. We ran out of money. Yeah. <laughs> or you do what they do with his and her circumstances, where you just stop. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Like there's there's no wrap up. It's just here's where the characters are. End of the yeah. You know, the end. Tomo- <laughs> okay. Tomorrow will come and it'll be just like it was yesterday. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, and the comet hit the earth, so it's all is rendered moot. <laughs> And by the way, I, I, you know, in, in, I have to say, I love his inner circumstances. I, everyone, please watch that show. Um, it is just, <laughs> it, is, it is a shoujo series about just interwoven characters. There's no like ending. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's the that's the thing. Yeah, it's a good question actually. I don't know how much 
of the manga the anime adapts. Um, I'm just skimming Wikipedia to see if there is a uh, uh, an obvious. I'm, I never read the manga, so I, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. Couldn't really... um, it adapts the first eleven volumes, so okay. it's basically the first <coughs> what, two me. fifths. Wow. So that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Akira. Oh wait, there's more than the movie. <laughs> yeah. More. Wait, wait a minute. Akira was just the prologue. Wait, what? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, good if luck. only I'd known that thirty years ago. <laughs> wow. I probably could have read it by now. <laughs> you find it difficult to, to read Akira and find Akira. Good luck with twenty-seven volumes of Claymore. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At this point. Um, <clears throat> but. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's it's an interesting show because you know, to, to your point, Steve, I think it is one of those shows that Flash in the Pan is perhaps you know a little overstating the case because I, I it sounds dismissive. I don't mean to be dismissive, but it, sure. it, it, it was very much a show that, that was big for a while and just kind of disappeared. Which is kind of kind of kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I, like, and, and it's tough because, again, the characters are kind of there, um, at, at least in the first five episodes. Like, there's not much character development in there. Um, I do really like the overall uh, like color palette, as we were talking about before. Yeah. Um, yeah. The fact that it's it's muted, but it doesn't feel um, drab. It doesn't feel like they're intentionally making it feel like a grayscale world. That you don't feel like everyone's hunched over, just like I hate the life. Oh god. <laughs> well, it's not you know. The, the, what are we having for dinner today? Rocks again? Yeah, okay. Monty yeah, Python and the Holy Grail, you know. Yeah. Mud. Um, some lovely <laughs> mud down here. <laughs> lovely filth down here. I think some, exactly, yeah, yeah. some lovely filth down here. Yeah, we're gonna knock this thing. This a commune. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's it, it it feels of a place. And I should also point out to, to that point. I do really appreciate that it, it isn't everyone's, you know, covered in mud all the time and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It feels like a reasonably lived-in world. Um, yeah. Uh, which, which, is, which is nice. A, a lot of fantasy series have this almost generic fantasy land view of things, and this feels a little more grounded than that. Uh, which is really well, nice. it's certainly the... Um... I, I gave up being the Demon Lord and resurrected as a normal guy. Mm-hmm. They go into a city like, oh, it's the royal capital of blah, blah, blah. And everything is sharp and clean and pointed. And the stones are dressed and it's gorgeous. The yeah. cobblestones and it's this. They actually gave it like the, the screenshot you have. Mm -hmm. It's like weathered stone. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. filthy. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, like stuff hanging off everything. But yeah. it is definitely not like this pristine world that these characters have been plopped into. No, mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's a very inhabited kind of world where you have exactly. these kind of like older buildings that are just kind of weathered, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, totally. Um, it's, it's a really neat aesthetic. Um, and um, other than that, though, there wasn't that much that like, really stood out to me in Claymore, unfortunately. Um, just you know, um, just kind of a, a show that is, if you will. Yeah, I. I'm curious to why it was big for the time that it was big. It's like yeah. again, is it was it the only thing like it <laughs> on the landscape so that mm -hmm. people were so like, oh my gosh, this is yeah, so different than every every other thing that mm -hmm. I just, I can't get enough of it. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> keep in mind that <clears throat> excuse me, mm -hmm. I don't know where, where, where that frog came from. Um, 2007, I think, was full of yeah. shonen kind of stuff like demo, demo, mm -hmm. demo. Demo is trying to get out. Um, the you know like Dragon Ball was popular. Yeah. Um, you know there's you know the, uh, there's a lot there was a lot of you know hey hey action kind of things mm -hmm. going on and there wasn't really anything that was slowing down mm -hmm. and there wasn't anything to think about and it was just you know push on push on oh we're gonna do Spirit Bomb for five episodes and Krillin's gonna run around and get well, his butt whipped and you know kind of thing for for five five besides weeks. Besides that, it was all Moe. Right. Yeah. This is, this is the right. Full oh, it's the height of Moe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When did the original Berserk come out? Good question. Was that the late '90s? Yeah, I think that was '90s. Yes. Yeah. 
yeah, not the CGI one that people yeah. apparently had aneurysms about. So, <laughs> yeah. um, um, okay. Yeah. So we've got an, a a <clears throat> fairly dark <clears throat> example in a ten year period before mm-hmm. this anime appeared. Yeah. So, I, I given the the in, the enduring love of Berserk, mm-hmm. uh, I'm gonna guess that I could see where maybe that was noticed. That what yeah. you know what I mean to mm-hmm. give this kind of like okay. The story itself doesn't really pound away at you where you just you're thirsting for it, but mm-hmm. geez, it falls in that similar kind of vein. It's like, yeah, people yeah. were big on this. I could see where that you'd mm-hmm. be like, yeah, this is a reasonable risk. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll throw this in and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think to, to, to Steve's point, I think that slow burn is always difficult to, to manage. Yeah, both from, from yeah. a production and from an audience perspective. That. Um, finding the right pace for that that will draw people in. I think this is one of those shows that just, you know, it drew some people in, but a lot of folks just bounced off of for just being yeah. too slow or whatever. You know, you know what it might be is that it might be that Claymore has a small but dedicated base. Okay, yeah, I can see that. You, you know what I mean? And maybe it's one of those things where it's just like enough people talk about it that it's kind of in the, the conscious, the group consciousness mm-hmm. where it's just like, Claymore, Claymore, Claymore. Oh, yeah, I should watch that sometime. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, okay, you're a camp. Oh, so nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can totally see that being. And also, like, that's a point at which social media certainly becomes a bigger thing. Around 2007, right. 2008. Right. Um, and so I can see that kind of network effect ha- happening where, you know, like, to your point, um, the voices are amplified of the, pe- the actual people who do watch it. And it seems like everybody's watching the show when actually, you know, it's 5% or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me log on to MySpace and tell everybody, <laughs> if you like Berserk, you're going to love Claymore. Be like, okay, well, you know, right. I could, that, let yeah. me go into his AOL chat room. Hi, I'm a, you know, 22 year old co ed working. No, never mind. No, no, no. And, no, 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 and no, meanwhile, no. on Yahoo 360. Right. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, baby. The sad thing is that I actually did. I think I actually did write something about Claymore on Yahoo 360 <laughs> when I had a account oh. there. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Let's get off of your and we're fine. Way back. Um, yeah, it's yeah. Time to get the oh, way back boy. machine. Yeah. Well, when I was on Rec Arts Anime Misc, uh, the Usenet News Group, uh, I posted a whole thing about Claymore. <laughs> when I when I could get my uh, my CGA uh, CGA monitor up and running on my 386, I went to that bulletin board system mm-hmm. and then just went in. You know, well, you know, it was the best site was when it was on ARPANET, and you know, yeah. you know. yes, yeah, when you Real wanted to play that game, yep, <laughs> global <laughs> thermonuclear war. Um, what was Would thing? you like um, to play a game? Uh, th- th- there's a joke about you know, real programmers use. Language X, real programmers yeah. use Java, whatever, um, and the ultimate is um, real programmers uh, program by um, training butterflies to flap their wings and uh, 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 change the uh, flow of chaos ar- around the uh, the world and program using pure chaos theory. Um. <laughs> and here I thought you were going to say Borland. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right butterflies um, chaos theory okay exactly um um actually uh john and chat points out gundam as a as a good you know, a good i think really um similarity to this where back in the day there was that small dedicated gundam fan base that was yeah. you know mm-hmm. loving it and talking all about it and that you know quite quite out of proportion to the regular uh anime fan base so maybe we're we're just going to see the wave of Claymore suddenly crash, exactly, and then it's going to be like Gundam, yeah, where it's exactly. going to be all Claymore everywhere forever the rest of oh, time. Oh god, of one thousand yeah. titles, one thousand <laughs> titles of exactly. Claymore. I don't know if I can. Oh, no, <laughs> we'll see. Claire takes a holiday to the beach. <laughs> oh, that's just like War in the Pocket. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Claire Claire decides to go fishing. Oh, this is just like Gundam double double o eighty whatever the no, eighty eight whatever. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> one for one. Every single oh, Gundam spinoff yeah. is actually more spinoff of something like, oh Jesus. kill us all now. 
Cool. All right. Well, um, we will uh, stop it there, and uh, we're gonna take a quick break. Five episodes, thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's like the best ratio we've had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in, in fairness, like there's um, a lot of the story in here is kind of spoilery. Where if you're yeah. gonna watch the show, I really don't want you to know the relationship between these characters, all that kind of stuff. Like there, yeah. there is a lot there. Um. But well, um, I mean, and in in like all fairness, mm-hmm. even not spoiling things, yeah. there are like what less than a handful of absolute sort of critical points yeah. that make up these first five episodes. True. That literally we're not shorting it by only doing it. <laughs> right. Because yeah. it's only standing like it's in, on just five episodes. It's only yeah. standing on like a very few pillars. Yeah. The, the, and I'm yeah. sure by the time we hit, tw- you know, if mm-hmm. we by the time it hit 26 <laughs> that you had you know presumably this massive support yeah. structure to like yeah, what's yeah. going on but here we just got so very mm-hmm. little of the core story to like actually work with there. yeah it's just starting to set up yeah, in these yeah. Episodes. um cool all right well then we'll be back in just a few minutes and uh talk about the latest anime news see you then mm-hmm.